So Roe v. Wade was overturned by the Supreme Court and there have been celebrations and protests everywhere since then. Uh, Pro-lifers have been celebrating and pro-choices have been lamenting decades worth of precedence. I've heard the phrase, my body, my choice, screamed at the top of someone's lungs. I've heard the phrase, uh, it's not a woman's right to choose, it's a baby's right to live. I've pretty much heard arguments from all sides, left, right, and center. Honestly, I don't care if you're pro-choice or pro-life. One side doesn't negate the other. But one thing I heard that caught my attention was I heard that the overturning of Roe v. Wade was exclaimed in the Christian community as a win for God. I've seen people post about how God is pleased, them putting up scriptures about how murder is a sin. I've even seen people having praise parties in their posts. And they're doing this all while using God as a scapegoat by confusing freedom with control. I am thoroughly confused by y'all. Not us, y'all, cause y'all ain't us. Us as in believers and followers of Christ. Y'all as in Christians. It's become more and more apparent to me that our westernized version of faith allows us, teaches us even, that hate and control over others is okay as long as we're doing it in the name of God. Using the church to satisfy your need to, to separate and exalt yourself above others, even if that means the extermination of those others. You know the last group that had that kind of mindset? You called them terrorists. You waged war against them because they impeded on your freedom. It seems as if the same people professing their love of God on Sunday can be seen screaming at protesters at the top of their lungs that they're damned and they're going to hell because they're fighting for their right to choose. Tell me, what kind of love is it if your partner doesn't have a choice but to love you? That's not love. That's not freedom. That's control. Manipulation. That's an abusive relationship, and I cannot stand by and allow a Christian community to bully and abuse people into obeying God. But I am thoroughly confused by y'all. Not us, y'all, cause y'all ain't us. Us as in believers and followers of Christ. Y'all as in Christians. Do I believe abortion is right? No, but that doesn't give me the authority to strip someone else of their liberty to choose for themselves. You know, I really wonder what other freedoms would be in jeopardy of being overturned. Because the last time a freedom this big was left to the states to determine individually, we were under slave labor. So to the woman with the lethal fetal anomaly, I stand with you. To the woman impregnated in an abusive relationship, I stand with you. To the woman raped by someone you trusted, I stand with you. To the woman whose pregnancy endangers your life, I stand with you. To the woman who desires to have an abortion, I stand with your right to choose. And to the babies who cannot defend themselves, I stand with you. What I cannot stand with, however, is a Christian community that continues to condemn those who they claim to love, who they've sworn to love, only using the word of God in public policy when it benefits them. That's not love, nor is it correction. I will not teach hate, control, or prejudice because we had a name for a group of people who used laws to strong arm and bully people into obeying and loving God. We called them Pharisees. I am thoroughly confused by y'all, not us. Y'all, cause y'all ain't us. Us as in believers and followers of Christ. Y'all as in Christians. We are not the same.